Forecast in just a moment uh, from Causa, but we also got some exciting news about our weather watchers. We'll come to that in just a second. Just to remind us how successful our weather watchers have been and how useful they've been. Oh, Sally, it's been incredible. Four months since its launch, and we've got 80,000 people signed wow. up. And they've put, uploaded a record 400,000 images and weather reports. It's been fantastic as a resource because, especially for a weather presenter, to be able yes. to scan the pictures and see the weather systems pass through. There have been some fabulous pictures. Uh, what's this new feature that you're launching? All in because of the start of meteorological spring, we've introduced geolocating. So what that means is that oh. if you, wherever you are, up a mountain, by the coast, by the sea, if you take a picture, you can snap and share that image with the information of where you are. And here's how you do it. So if you've got a profile, so Sally, here's your profile, and just imagine your base is in Southampton here for BBC South today. Now. You go on holiday somewhere, where are you heading off to, Sally? Uh, let's go to the Gower Peninsula because it's lovely, it's St David's Day, let's go there. Well indeed, so you've gone to the Gower Peninsula, you've taken a picture and then the same process, but can you see the circular icon to the side of the magnifying glass? You click on that and as if by magic it locates your current location and you can upload your photo using that. That's a really good idea, but what, what happens if I don't have a smart... Well, you if you know, don't, a smartphone or a computer. Yeah, if you don't have a smartphone or a computer, you can use the local library, so getting involved. Brilliant. And you can then use that. So it's fantastic as a resource, but you can get all the details on the website, bbc.co.uk forward slash weatherwatchers. And today is a perfect day for it. We've had every type of weather, cloudy and wet to start the day, drier and brighter weather. And our weather watchers across the region have been sharing their photos. This one here from Swanage in Dorset earlier today where we've had that cloud and that rain. It did dry up, though it was still quite blustery with those waves quite high here in Leon Solent in Hampshire. But by the end of the day, some sunshine around in Oxford, some beautiful sunshine, in fact. And we've passed, we've kept track of that weather system. From our satellite image here, you can see that cloud, that rain spilling further towards the southeast. And behind it, some clearer skies, but also some cloud around. So a great tool with all those images. And as we head through to this evening, well, we'll continue to see drier weather for a time with some clearer skies. Still quite breezy. And then we start to see some showers coming in from the west. Now, these showers could be wintry up over higher ground. Some clearer spells by the early hours, and it will turn cold once again after the mild day that we've had temperatures back down to around three or four degrees blustery conditions continuing especially by the coast we could see gusts of 40 to maybe up to 50 miles per hour the Solent for Dorset as well and wintry showers tomorrow some of those showers with some sleet maybe even some snow up over the hills and we could have some hail some thunder mixed in becoming a little drier by the afternoon but cold out there temperatures seven or eight degrees a real difference to what we've seen today and then tomorrow evening those showers continuing for a time perhaps falling more readily as snow up over the hills some clearer spells and another cold night temperatures dipping to three to six celsius and for the middle part of the week to Thursday, then we continue to draw in this cold air coming in from the north. But there is an area of low pressure towards the west of us. A lot of uncertainty about this, depending on its position and where we're going to see the rain. But there is the potential by Friday we could see some longer spells of rain, maybe even some snow mixed in too. We will, of course, keep you updated about that. But for the week, it's those wintry showers tomorrow we need to keep an eye on. Falling asleep with some hail, some thunder mixed in, some brighter spells around them, and staying cold, blustery winds throughout the night to Thursday. Thursday looks largely drier, so that's the good news. A day of respite. Temperature still on the cold side, 8 degrees. And then for Friday, well, the potential of that rain, as I mentioned. And then for the weekend, well, at the moment, it looks to be largely dry, staying cold and staying rather blustery as well. That's your forecast. God, it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system, Causa. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's it from us this evening. We got uh, a little bit more for you, Causa, at 8 o'clock, then again at 10.30. Thanks for watching tonight. And be with us tomorrow at half past six if you can. Enjoy your evening. Bye.